We'll get rolling in a couple of minutes, guys. A little bit of shorter schedule today. We've got, like usual, we either have a Gold Rush Authentic or a Diamond on Sundays with a Frozen Dozen from Hit Parade. So we'll do those two first. Um, all spots are sold out. We'll start with the Diamond Edition Series 8. This is box 47 of 100. We'll move to the Hit Parade Frozen Dozen Series 7. I believe it's our first time doing Series 7. we got box 17 of 20. Um, and then on Facebook, we have... Uh, College full size helmet break. We're going to do that one first. That one is full. Um, and then we're going to do four boxer for Big Al's full size series. And I think there's just one team left, which is Indianapolis, which is strange. It's the first time they've been the last team left. Let's see. Did anyone claim them after I looked? Nope. Hey, Kathleen. It's been good. Kind of getting caught up on work and. Took my kids and, uh, with my wife to the pond today and saw some people catching some fish and walked around and stuff. And yeah, it was fun. How about you? How was your weekend? We'll wait uh, two more minutes here to get rolling with the full size just to make sure everyone. It's running a little late, gets in. And then for live fills, we'll probably do a, a Gold Rush jersey or two, and then we'll probably try to do a Gold Rush mini or two as well. Um, jerseys are at the $25 spot for division. Minis are at the $18 spot for division. So same as always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me too, usually. My wife likes to go on walks and runs and hikes and be outside so my kids are always doing that and i am when i'm not working okay 803 uh let's get rolling for full size um, if you bought into the Hip Parade Diamond Edition full-size helmet break on eBay, that's what we're going to break first. I already announced box 47 out of 100 from Series 8. I think we have one more box from Series 8, and then we've got a couple from Series 9 on the way. I don't think they're here yet, but they will be. Hey, Daryl. What's up, man? So, and I forget who's on the checklist on the, or on the headliner list on that one, but they're already sold out so three of those and then we'll see if we can get some of the new one if they have a new one soon i still haven't seen any fourth and goals so we're waiting on that okay good luck everyone <clears throat> i 
wonder what the chances are that I'll pull someone out of here from a helmet that I've never pulled before. Probably 1% chance. Hey, Josh, what's up? I've pulled almost everybody. I guess unless we get Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes, I've never pulled either of those. So that's my 1%er chance, I guess. There's probably a few others I've never pulled to. But the list is getting smaller and smaller. Not a Moss Pats. Yeah, I've not pulled a Randy Moss uh, Patriots. And it's hard to get my own series um, and compare that to what I pulled from other products because those I kind of pick out, you know. So I've never pulled a Moss outside of my own series either. So that's another one. I have pulled a Favre outside of my own series. Let's see that red face mask. <laughs> I'm hoping for a big one tonight. We've had some pretty good luck with this series so far. So let's see what we get here first. Looking like a specialty to me. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, Vikings. What if it was Randy Moss, but the Vikings. I don't think he's, I mean, unless he's a hidden gem. Minnesota. Nice hit. Hard to see because the bag, but that's a Minnesota Eclipse. That's awesome. Hey, Don. And yes, it is authentic. Sometimes they squeak in some non-authentic, which is fine when they're specialty. I mean, you, you want the special, you want the authentic before specialty. But if you're gonna get a non-authentic, it better be specialty from the Diamond Series. Okay, Vikings. I'm, I'm hoping for an Adrian Peterson, but maybe it's Kirk Cousins or something. Adam Thielen, JJ. Ooh, Jefferson would be nice. Nice team, says Jonathan. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, it is Jefferson. That's nice. His uh, pen was running out of ink kind of on the first J. You can see how it just didn't pick up everything, but doesn't really matter to me. That looks sweet. Beckett authenticated WG72536. Justin Jefferson, Eclipse Authentic. That's a nice hit. Congrats, Minnesota spot. I'm jealous, actually. Let's see if I can... Uh... Just look at them. Let's see. Minnesota, Minnesota, where are you? And there it is. Someone not from our Facebook page. Man. Having some luck on the face on the eBay breaks, man. That's crazy. I think he's won three helmets in the last two weeks. Oh no, wish that ink was solid. Yeah, I wish. I mean, yellow ink is my favorite on these eclipses. Yeah, I don't know why it's a little spacey, but it's not smudged or anything. It's just the way he wrote it. He probably is going fast. It just didn't pick up the whole the whole line, but. That bugs other people a lot more than it bugs me. I think that's awesome. Nice silver ink, 18 inscription, Justin Jefferson. What is the Facebook page? I'd like to check it out. It's actually the link right above there. I'll post it again. I don't know if it shows you stuff from comments before you get in here or not. So just in case. Uh, we got a Facebook page where we do two or three breaks a night when I, when we're on. Fast like how he plays. Yeah, he's so good. I wish the Packers could have gotten him. But we do we do a couple of football breaks on there um, a night. Uh, my own series is only on there. I'll probably never do my own series on eBay. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't feel like doing that. And then you get them cheaper. So uh, we also do some other gold rush or hip rate stuff on there too. Hello, Al. Hello, all. Hey, Jason. What's up, man? So thought it'd be purple ink. Yeah. Packers are only into drafting backups. They have been lately. I used to brag about our drafting skills, but that has gone down, down, down in the last couple of years. Approved. You're in the group. Okay. Congrats, Minnesota spot. That is awesome. 
Out of all the Vikings you can get, that's top five Viking right now. Want to see Favre or Chris Carter or Moss, current players, or even Peterson, I guess. But out of the current players, that's as good as it gets. Pull a Dalvin Cook or a Justin Jefferson. Kirk Cousins would be cool too, but Jefferson is the new shiny toy now that Diggs is gone. Thielen would be nice too. Congrats. Awesome. Yeah, you got a podcast. That's cool. Message me about that. Uh, send me a, a PM and let me know what that's all about, if you don't mind. Hello, all. Let's go, Hawks. <laughs> what rumor? Did I say rumor? I don't remember saying rumor. Jake, if I get <clears throat> another Blackhawks puck tonight, then we're <clears throat> we're done talking about the curse. Two nights in a row means two weeks in a row, I guess, means we're back on good standing. You can't hate me anymore. Last week was close. Greg, what's up, man? Go Leafs, go. No Leafs, no, says Daryl. Will do. Yeah, send me a message. Come on, Devils. Did you get the Devils tonight? No Captain Kirk. Love to the Patriots for pick 15 and some other mumbo jumbo. <laughs> <clears throat> In five years when Jay Love is balling out, you'll be happy they drafted a backup. Ugh. Dang, you missed Nashville. Sorry, Josh. Okay, this is box 17 of 20, series 7. This always feels so heavy. Hit pray 2020-2021. Good luck. I'll turn around backwards so I do not... Uh, Show the whole box at once, like always. Someone tried to snipe you. The Devils have been on a run. It seems like they've had a puck in every box for the last four or five boxes. I could be wrong, but haha, no more curse. I'd love it. Yeah, puck 11 to 12. I was shaking a little. It was 11 to 12. I thought so. That was fun, though. I, I hope we uh, hope we can get another Chicago tonight. Okay, let's get a big, big name tonight, too. Let's go into puck mode. It was not a rumor. There was a leaked photo that from someone that works for the Packers had a clipboard that showed Green Bay trading love to New England. Can you imagine taking him first round and trading him away for another pick? Oh, my gosh. And he's a Utah boy. That was so fake, was it? Why did I not? Oh, heard a rumor. Love. That's what you said. Heard a rumor. Love to the Patriots. I mean, we drafted him, and he's been under Rodgers. We might as well keep him now. And he's a Utah State boy, so he's close to me. I would like it. I just was not wanting the pick at the moment. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Puck number one coming in hot. D.A. Carwold. Certificate of Authentic Authenticity. 321. Canada Puck Specialty number 77. That is Kirby Doc. Kirby Doc. We pulled him before. I recognize the name. Don't think it was on a Canada puck, though. Look at that. My search thing over there. The last thing was Devontae Adams' drop rate. Is that really Black Hawk or half the bag? <laughs> is it? <clears throat> NHL. Is this a young kid? <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Chicago, Jake. And I don't want to get your hopes up, but the teams that double up are the ones that have a hit with a specialty puck because it's not an actual Chicago puck. So without getting your hopes up, you may get a double up puck. You may get a puck with, with uh, Chicago. But even if you don't, congrats, Kirby Doc. Yeah, that fake news came out last week. If the Pats are involved and that came out, they won't do it. Some reason we didn't draft a couple of shoes last year. Yeah. Way to go, Jake. 2019 third overall pick. Hey, Dustin. What's up? Okay, puck number two. Here we go. Another COA from DA Carwell. Three, two, one. Ooh, Detroit Red Wings. This bugs me so bad when they don't put the name on the top. Hall of Fame 77, number 10. Let's go, says Jake. Nice start. Alex Del Vecchio. 
Detroit Red Wings, Alex Del Vecchio, Hall of Fame 77, number 10. Hey, guys, here, let me, I've been forgetting to check. How about a camera check? Does the camera still look way better than it did a couple weeks ago now that I got the Internet fixed? Is it still clear or is it back to kind of being what you guys said, the oldest camera in the world? AJ Sports World Authent Certificate of Authenticity, number three. Canadians, Montreal, number 23. That is Andre Pronovost, something like that. Clear, clear, good. He seems to come up a lot for Detroit, does he? I think that's the second or third time I've read his name. Jonathan sent me the I'll have to look at that after the breaks are over. That's funny. Clear, good, good, good. Excellent. I said that to my, my younger neighbor the other day. Excellent. And he didn't know what show I was referring to. I'm sure he, most of you guys know. Nice hit, Montreal. Okay, puck number four, Kojo. Three, two, one. Hey, there it is. Go, Leafs, go. Good luck, Greg. Right as you say, that was that was good luck. Let's go, says Greg. There it is. Alan Bester. We've never pulled him before. Number 30, maybe? Well done, Greg. <laughs> Alan Bester. I've never I've never heard that name. Is that a good or a bum? <laughs> We've got some harsh critics here sometimes, so don't. I can never tell hockey, though. You guys know me. Goalie, not that good. <laughs> hey, it's a puck. Okay, number five, Tampa Bay. Lightning, they're kind of hit and miss lately. I'm glad we're seeing a little bit more. Daryl, the Leafs always end up above the halves, even in the puck draws. <laughs> Braden Point. Tampa Bay Lightning. Braden Point. Nice hit, Tampa Bay. Looks like maybe number 71. Do uh, NHL players tend to have a certain number range for the position they play, like NFL, until just recently? Or is it just kind of you can be whatever you want to be? Not since 67. So true, Greg. Okay, here we go. Puck number six. Halfway through. Ooh, officially licensed. And I may have showed you guys. NHL draft. First overall pick. We pulled this guy a bunch. Taylor Hall. Where's he at? Is he, isn't he at Tampa Bay? No. He's not. I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of... Uh, Oh, I can't think of his name. Taylor Hall is on the Boston Bruins. Boston. He's Canadian, huh? He's played in a lot of... Uh... He was a Buffalo early this year. I think that's where we... Let's see. When did he change? When did he sign? Uh, it doesn't say, actually. April 11th, just barely. A couple weeks ago, huh? Okay, Boston. Ahoy, ahoy. Hey, Nate. What's up, man? Okay, second half. Starting the second half of the pucks. Three, two, one. Nice. A winter classic at the big house. This is the only kind of specialty where we, we draw because it's a specific game. Even if they play for a different team now, it goes to the team they played for during this specific game because it's referring to the game. Winter Classic, the big house, Henrik Zetterberg. Last week of the trade deadline. That's funny. Henrik Zetterberg. I love these uh, Winter Classics. We have not pulled a Winter Classic in a while now. Let's see. Maybe this, maybe this is, uh, oh, geez. You were at that game? <laughs> is that Detroit? Did he, does he not play in the NHL anymore? Or did he not play that much? Oh, no, he played a ton for Detroit. Good, there's no drama there. He's uh, Swiss, huh? Played a bunch for their leagues. And then he played for the uh, Switzerland leagues too, huh? Swedish, Switzerland, and then a bunch of years with Detroit. Retired. Nice hit. 
That's cool. On a winter classic, the big house. Greg was there. That's cool. <laughs> Does it have the year on it? 2014 winter classic. Hall of Famer. Nice. That is a good one. That game was cold. <laughs> did you go to it too, Scott, or do you just remember it being cold? That was cool. Nice hit. Whoop. I just showed you who it was. Hey, old school Kings. I love these pucks. Hall of Fame 04. Los Angeles Kings. January 1st, 2014. Outdoor game in Ann Arbor. Yep. Yeah, big house. That's cool. That's a stadium I really want to visit. Larry Murphy for the Kings. You were there too, Scott? That's cool. Two people in my little chat were at that same game in 2014. That's crazy. Do you two even know each other? I used to drink Sam Adams Winter Classic. <laughs> it's close to the same thing. I said Kings. Okay, we're on the final third. Good luck, everyone. This is AJ Sports World 321 Philly. They've also hit quite a few lately. Quite a bit lately, I should say. Keith Primo or Primo? Primo. I remember you guys teaching me. Primo. Keith Primo with the silver ink for Philadelphia. Nice hit. Philly. I wasn't there, but that's my puck now. <laughs> that might be better. No. Congrats, Zinko. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh man, you should uh, you should start a bidding war. If they were at the game. Maybe they'll pay a primo dollar for it. Okay, Kojo, this is puck number ten. Three left for those that haven't hit yet. Good luck. Three, two, one. Rangers. They're always hitting in the back row. It seems, except for last box, they were in the front row. Giles Gratton. Something probably not. The Looney. Gratuni the Looney. We pulled this one before. I love that nickname. Red Wing fan all the way. I wasn't there. Red Wing fan all the way. Now, if you had a Winter Classic, at a Winter Classic, that would be something. That's true. You should do that, Jay. Rangers, Gratuni, the Looney, number 33, New York. Nice hit. Okay, two pucks left. AJ Sports World. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, another draft pick puck. Jeez, from 2011. Adam Larson with two S's. That's one of those. That guy played on the bad team in the Mighty Ducks, I bet. You guys will beat me to it, but I'm going to look it up. Where is Adam Larson at now? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Devils, is it? I don't think it is. I think he just switched. Yeah, we've got no rule on the actual draft pucks, Dega, although I've been thinking about doing that. It is Edmonton now, so it's an Edmonton puck. But I should I should get you guys' thoughts on that. If it's a specific draft puck, if we should start giving it to the team that drafted him, but it's we've just never done that, and that makes it a little hairy. So for today, it's Edmonton Dig. I'm sorry about that. He did get traded. Yep. So he's on. Uh, he's on the Oilers, or he was on the Oilers. He, does he still play there? Yeah, he does. I think the draft puck should go to the drafted team. I've, we've thought about it. We haven't done it that way once yet, but <clears throat> I'll do a poll on the page. Because that's, that's kind of a – it makes sense, but I bet there's some reasons why we maybe shouldn't do it. But we'll, we'll – Trade it for Hall, our draft pick. That's funny. Should go to the team that drafted him. You think so too, JJ? Yeah. I need to if I if I do that I need to put that in the actual listing because that's and I kind of agree with you it kind of seems like they should go to the team that drafted them but for now we'll stick with our same rules. Um, I'll talk to you, Dega, after this. I don't ever want anyone feeling like they got cheated, but we have a ton of draft. I mean, there's three different bucks here that would be going to different teams, you know. 
So if, I'll put a poll on the page. If we think that that should be changed, and I change it in the in the writing on the page on the eBay listings, then that will be the new rule. So. Yeah, it's hard to say. What if the guy got drafted but barely played there and had a long career? Yeah, what if it's a draft puck with a guy that's retired? In our rule, when they're retired, it goes to games played, which – so it's hard. We have, to, we have to think of a way to really put it in good words to where there's no issues ever. I hate it when they should go to two different teams. But in Big Al's, their college helmet doesn't go to the team they started with, correct? It doesn't. But these are a little different because it's actually talking about the draft, which is why I get what you guys are saying, so – Okay, puck 12. Here we go. Three, two, one. Buffalo hitting at the buzzer. Shared parenting. <laughs> you take the puck <laughs> for the odd months, or you take it for the first half of the year, I'll take it for the second half. A draft puck is like a baseball with 2015 World Series. I agree to a certain extent, JJ. I really, I really do think that it probably should go to the draft team, but we've never done it that way. So, Buffalo. Yeah, nice hit, Jake. Started off with the first specialty puck. We'll talk about it, guys, because if that's a way that the majority of people feel, um, we'll, we'll change it, you know. But for now, there's no there's no verbiage. and Curse is over. <laughs> yeah, two in a row. Gold Rush can't wait to put a Haskins Steelers helmet in every case. Do you think he's signing again? And Taylor Hall will have a little card in here because he always does. He has his own little COA cards from, uh, what is it, Frameworth. So this will go with the Taylor Hall. Al, you can send my puck and mass puck together again. You got it. I will. I have the worst luck with Frozen Dozen one third chance. <laughs> it is nice that there's 12 pucks, but there are a lot of teams that don't hit, especially. Do we have any double ups? Did Detroit double up, maybe, with a specialty and a regular? That might have been the only ones that doubled. Okay, recap. You guys might have to help me with this, or I'll just backtrack on my uh, my search. We'll, we'll post a thing about it in the group, guys. And It may not be majority rules, but if it's like 75%, a big majority, then we'll switch it, and I'll put it in the verbiage for the frozen dozen. Because I kind of like that rule, too, but there needs to be even more rules so there's no in-betweeners, which happens all the time with baseball. Dang baseball. Okay, Buffalo. This one we said was Edmonton, New York Rangers, Philadelphia, Los Angeles. The Winter Classic was, was this the Detroit one, I think? Uh, yeah, Detroit. See, another draft puck. This one, Taylor Hall was Boston now? Boston? Tampa Bay. Then we had Toronto, Montreal, Detroit, and Chicago with the first specialty. We'll talk about it, guys. I understand uh, the difference in opinion. I think there's probably a stronger reason why it should go to the draft than why it shouldn't. But it would need to be done prior to actually opening it and making the decision. So. No spoiler alerts watching my girl. What an awesome friendship between. <laughs> Don't ruin it for him. You could always add draft as a category for people to buy. Ugh, I could. That spot would go for a lottery time because we always have a, a draft puck. I've never been a fan of adding an extra category and making people have to sort between more than the regular amount of teams, you know. We used to do it for specialty jerseys in the Gold Rush, uh, like if it's a non-team or whatever, and it, and it was fine when you when there's multiple signatures on a jersey. But I've never liked it, you know, making it so you have worse odds if we have a draft book. But we'll put I'll put a poll up tonight, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Any live fills tonight? So the live fills tonight are either going to be Gold Rush. We're we're going to try to do Gold Rush jerseys and Gold Rush minis. No Big Al's Mini tonight. The 10 box of the other day, I haven't been able to, to restock yet. kind of took a day off yesterday. Um, usually even on Saturdays, I'm working and getting stuff ready for the next couple breaks. Uh, but I didn't. So we'll do – if we do anything, it'll be Gold Rush Minis and uh, or and or Gold Rush uh, jerseys. 
Okay, that does it for eBay. Justin Jefferson, Eclipse, full-size authentic. Sweet lid, 12 bucks. Just did the recap. Now we're on to uh, Facebook. Our first Facebook break is a college helmet, which we are closed in full, so you know what time it is. Get your college guesses. Uh, anyone can participate. All you have to do is try to guess who you think is the team on this in this box. Which college team? If you get it right twice in a row, that's when you either get a free mini or a free jersey. But you try for a third time because if you get it three times in a row, whether it's between the full size of the jerseys that we just go back and forth, uh, you then qualify to win a free Big Al's full size helmet. We'll just randomize a bingo ball and you get that helmet. A ton have made it to one. None have made it to two. And I don't think we have anybody moving on to two tonight because the jersey last time was Nebraska, and nobody picked Nebraska. Huh, Thomas is walking in the woods all alone. <laughs> Turn it off, Nate. Turn it off. Kathleen's going to stick with LSU. Hey, the night's the right night to pick LSU because Eric's in the break, and there he is. He picked LSU too. The rumor rumor has it, Eric, that whenever Kathleen picks LSU, they don't hit. When she doesn't pick them, they hit. And she's just going to keep going LSU, LSU, LSU until it gets right. That's one of the best teams to pick. We used to pull them all the time. We're kind of on an LSU uh, break right now. So Oh, no. Guess I'll pick Georgia Tech now. <laughs> okay, so we've got Aaron, Eric, Josh, Joe, Ian, Brad, Tim, and Kane in this break with their respective divisions, starting with the AFC East, ending with the NFC West. Uh, this is the new series. We've only opened one helmet, and I can't remember who it was. Notre Dame? Oh, Rudy, right? Was it the Rudy? Okay, let's get to those guesses. So nobody is on guess two. This is to get anyone that gets it right a chance to get to two. So we're starting with Clemson, Bama, Clemson, LSU, Texas, Tech, Ohio State, Iowa, LSU, Texas, OSU, Oklahoma, Nebraska, uh, Virginia Tech, Miami, Oklahoma, Florida, Georgia Tech, Michigan, Florida State, Florida State, OSU, Clemson, Notre Dame, Texas, Purdue, Tennessee, Georgia, LSU, Ohio State, yeah, Rudy. <laughs> Georgia Tech Yellow Jackson Jackets in honor of Thomas. I didn't pick up on that, but now I understand. Yeah. LSU for Matthew. LSU for Evan. Man, lots of LSU guesses tonight. A couple Ohio State guesses, too. What, only one Bama guess? Josh, were you only Bama guess? It's going to be Bama. Tennessee. I'd like to see it be Tennessee, Josh. That'd be cool. Purdue, Drake. We've pulled a couple Purdue's. Notre Dame's never a bad guess. Okay. Let's roll. College football edition. This is series one, I believe, yep, of 2021. We uh, had a ton from series two of 2020. Ran out a month ago or so. Box 67 of 100. Too soon? Nah. That movie's been out for like 30 years, so. Sean says Auburn Tigers. I'm going to do the double cut here on the first side. Maybe. Get this wrapping off first. But yeah, guys, kind of like the Big Al's full size and Big Al's minis. I think I I tried starting a jersey and then I didn't I didn't like where it was going. But I've kind of been looking at more stuff now, and I think maybe we could get a Big Al's football jersey going uh, series, so that we can just kind of do more Big Al series on Facebook and a little bit less of these products since it's been harder to get them and more expensive. I'll keep getting them because I love them, but they're just they're hard to get and they're expensive. So. Lunder tonight says Josh. Hey, you'll have all the glory though if it's Alabama. Probably the best guess that you can do. LSU being right behind there, Ohio State being right behind them, Notre Dame. Those are probably the top four as far as number of hits. But every time, every time someone gets the first one right, and then we have a chance to go on. It's never one of those schools. It's always a smaller school. Here's the funeral. Audrey's kicking in. <laughs> Oh, backwards. Don't run the name. It should be on this back wall. Yep. I don't 
like to see another college speed helmet. I like those. Hey, maybe this is speed. Okay, good luck, everyone. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, this might be one of the headliners. That is a speed, and that is Wisconsin. You trying to tell me that none of you Wisconsin boys picked Wisconsin? Do we have no one guess Wisconsin? All these guesses. Now I gotta scroll up. <laughs> JJ said, "Dang it! Let's see here. Did no one pick Wisconsin?" Did I miss James White again? Oh, boy. That is the headliner. But I think the headliner for James White is... Um, gosh, now i got to look and waste your guys' time. The headliner of James White is a shut, not a speed. I'll guess Wisconsin says what's what. Hey, hey, it could be Ron Dane. Hey, good luck, college people. I love these these uh the college uh, speed helmets. They look so nice. Three, two, one. What? Wait. Hold a second. Hold on. What are they what are they doing to us? That's Russell Wilson. Why? Why are they putting Okay, first off, congratulations, King. That's you, right? You at NFC West. Why are they putting James White on the third page of the headliner list and not Russell Wilson? This is why I like Hip Parade. We found a Chase Young like that. We found a Calvin Johnson like that. What a sweet helmet. I'm extremely jealous of this speed. Wisconsin Russell Wilson with the 16 inscription, his college number. And that was the last group taken. Holy moly. So keep that in mind, guys. I know we're, we're all looking at the headliners, which is smart to try to claim a team there because if you win one of those, it's sweet. But there's lots of hidden gems. Holy moly. I was really thrown off by that. I saw that. I was like, that's Russell Wilson's. I was like, oh, maybe it's Ron Dane. And I'm just thinking weird. Definitely should be on the headliner list. Let's see if it's on the. Uh... Hold on. Hit parade. Unbelievable. We'll look at one thing here, guys, because this is kind of blowing my mind. If they don't even have it listed on the typed. The typed portion, you know, it's not in the pictures, but if it's not even on the typed portion, that would be kind of nuts. He's the first one on the typed portion that didn't make it to the... <laughs> There's some big names on there that, that didn't make it onto the, the pictures. Russell Wilson. So they put James White on there and not Russell Wilson. Maybe I should take that job, the, the pitcher chooser. Unbelievable. I'd rather have Bert. <laughs> He's on, he is on the checklist. He's just not on the pitchers. And I thought this was JSA the whole time. You imagine if I would have just turned it over and would have ruined it from the beginning? I thought this was JSA card. Outstanding. Got Mojo back. Nice hit, King. That is really awesome. Russell Wilson, Wisconsin full size. What a start tonight, guys. Last pick mojo, yep. First NFL leading scoring Super Bowls. <laughs> I'm not dogging James White. I think James White is a great helmet, too. But you're going to have a, a speed Wisconsin Russell Wilson, and you're going you're to choose James White? Come on, now. Come on. They do that on purpose, I bet. They really do. Okay, we are now to Big Al's full size. 
four boxer guys we're extremely close to series four we'll pull the plug on series three this week sometime um i've got a ton of awesome helmets here and that are coming in for series four um i've added a few into this series that'll spill into to series four as well everything that doesn't hit just moves over for the most part we pull some out that that just don't fit anymore but there's the next series is going to be awesome guys just like everyone everyone else every other series has been but i'm i'm super excited some new names some familiar ones we've had in every series big names but some some big new names too so i'm excited okay there's one team left how many teams haven't hit yet there's still more than one which is crazy so i'd love to hit them this week and go off into the sunset like we do with cincinnati but last series we opened 120 something helmets we're at like 80 or 90 this series so we're not quite to that level yet but remember every team starts with at least two to three hits and then i add in between there so the teams that don't hit they've had two three four helmets in the series since the beginning and that's just the way the bingo balls have been big al series three four boxer that's the last team left Indianapolis, all teams are alive, like always, guys. Every team has a helmet still in this series. I had to add a few back in over the last uh, month just to keep everyone back on, on, on track, but they are here. So, Sold. Okay, Nate, you want them? You got it. Indy for Nate. Let's close it. Let's roll the bingo balls, and let's get going, and then we, we'll do a couple live fills after this before we call the night. We're back on tomorrow, too. Jeez, Louise, Justin Jefferson, Russell Wilson. That kind of uh, throws me off a little bit, and then I'm all flustered. Maybe tonight I won't be a loser again. Got to break this bad streak. You would think with the team that you're taking, Marcus. I think there's just two teams that haven't hit. We don't talk about it, but most of you guys keep track, so most of you know. Okay, we're closed. Let's move these. Let's definitely not knock the Justin Jefferson or the Russell Wilson off the desk. Oh, man, I want that, Russell. I am a fan of that. Okay, we've got Chris, Tony, Shelly, Scott, Josh, Marcus, Tiger, Rick, Daryl, Rusty, Ben, King, Nate, Jonathan, Jason, Steve, Andrew, Raul, Hunter, uh, Patrick, Mike, Dustin, Terry, Josh, Josh P., and Kathleen. Aren't there two teams? You know better than me, Bob. That's a deal, Marcus. Let's both get a hit, Nate. <laughs> Teamwork. Yes, Bob, I believe you're right. When I say I believe, I, I mean I know you're right. I don't really talk about it because but you guys know enough just by keeping track, so that's pretty obvious. Okay, well, let's roll, guys. Four helmets. Let's see what we get. One, two, three, four. And that will be wild if it actually happens. <laughs> wild stuff happens with Big Al's every night, it seems, or every week. We get weird stuff happening all the time, like Russell Wilson coming out, and we didn't even know he's – I should stop looking at just the pictures and post the names too because Russell Wilson was on top of that list. That's nuts, though. They wouldn't put him on the head. Maybe he's been on the headline on this too many times. I thought, let's switch it up. Marcus and Nate need a win. Hashtag. Okay, we got blue, gray, white, red. Four different colors. First one, 54. Gray, 7, which means it's box 0, 7. All the grays have a zero in front. Box 13. 
I believe in miracles. <laughs> and box. Sorry, the glare. 17. 54 Erlacher, maybe it's a sign. Hey. I see dead people. <laughs> oh, man. This is fun. Okay, let's grab 1317. Let's take the whole thing out there. No, I won't. I'm too busy. Stupid thing doesn't work though. 1317. Oh seven fifty four. I think 07 is behind all my other boxes. 4th one. <laughs> Lucky you guys. I should start switching the numbers every week. Okay. You guys know who's going to come out before it even comes out? Or do you? 07. That's one of our numbers. Oh seven will go first. Thirteen, seventeen are right there, and fifty-four, are right here. Fifty-four will be last. Seventeen, thirteen will be in that order. And oh seven. Hey Jeff, what's up, man? He needs his glasses. I don't need my glasses. Oh, you talking about from the show? Okay. Good luck, everyone. Big Al's time. My favorite part of the night. Sometimes. Sometimes it's stressful. Sometimes it's hard to please the masses. Okay, 07.
three, two, one. Carolina. Matt White. Matt White. I'm not sure which one it is. Matt White. Who had Carolina tonight? Carolina, 425. That was Josh. Nice hit, Josh. I like these uh, flat white, matte whites for Carolina. I think they're pretty. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Starting with some fire tonight. Nice hit, Josh. It's been a while since we fit Carolina. Probably not that long. Okay, Christian McCaffrey, flat white. Run CMC, that is correct. Back it authenticated. WB58469 for Carolina. Starting hot. Yeah, big hits. Go ahead and give me uh, Calvin Johnson. <laughs> you chamber. Yeah, the big hits started with the other stuff. Justin Jefferson, Eclipse, Russell Wilson, Wisconsin, and spill over to Christian McCaffrey specialty. There goes the only non-refill. Hey, you guys don't know that I'm not putting in I, I'm not gonna explain it to you guys. You know, but I get I get it. It's less likely, I guess, in your mind. Nice hit, couch potato. <laughs> Okay, box 13. I don't only add helmets to the teams that are out of spots or that, it, you know what I mean? I, I add helmets, if they fit the series, I add them from teams that don't hit, that have hit very little, or teams that have hit a lot. It just depends. I'm never like, uh, what's the word? I never add to a team that already has a ton of hits still left in the series, like at the beginning. Oh, taking the box out. What am I doing? Okay, box 13. If that makes sense. Here we go. Three, two, one. What is this? A team we never see. All I heard was I took a sucker's bet on any now. No, you didn't. There's no sucker bets in Big Al's, guys. I can tell you time and time again. Mystery team. <laughs> Let's see. Go back to my Facebook. Cincinnati Tiger. Tiger, Tiger. That's cool. Tiger Bengal. Okay. Second authenticated. Three, two, one. Okay, for the record, I had this dude in my series long before we pulled him in the other thing the other night. What was it? I don't know if it was Schwartz or Hit Parade or what. Maybe it was Gold Rush. I can't even remember what it was. Josh, if you are not super attached to that helmet, I would love to make a deal. First thing I thought of was Carson. Carson is the resident Panthers fan. Icky Woods, the, the, the Icky Shuffle, correct. This is an Eclipse. Hard to tell with all those stripes, but it is not matte black or flat black. This is a Bengals Eclipse, cold cuts, Icky. Nice hit, Tiger. Cold cuts. <laughs> okay, box 17. Keeps a good mojo going here. McMuffin right there. Oh, yeah. You wish. But just remember this. The McMuffin and Big Al's is about as normal as they come for everywhere else. I met Icky once. He has, much, he has as much personality in person as you would expect. Great guy. He'll fight out in the morning. That's fine. You'll see it. 
You would think that he would have a lot of personality. That's funny. Okay, next up. Here we go. Three, two, one. At the supermarket, he's in a pretty mess. <laughs> Steelers is correct. Al, is the live fill mini helmet divisional or single teams? It'll be uh, divisional for the for the gold rush. It'll be division. Dustin, you had Pittsburgh. Three, two, one. Let's see. Patty, let's see if Patty thinks this is a McMuffin. I'm interested to see you guys' thoughts, and this will tell a lot about our friendship. Not Juju. Not Thigpen, not Yancy Thick Nancy Thigpen. Yancy? Yancy Thigpen. Not Nancy. Come on, really? Flash? There it is. Bob got it right. Flash inscription. Cordell Stewart for the Steelers. Haskins already? No, 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 no. Cordell Stewart nickname Flash. Or Slash. Was he Slash or Flash? Haskins. It's not Haskins. <laughs> I'm going to add like a Chrome Haskins. Slash. Sorry, I didn't know if it was Flash or Slash. I forget. I don't need to make better choices. I forgot. I tried to read his handwriting too. Slash. Nice hit, Dustin Cordell Stewart. Oh, I'm leave this in the corner. Last room because of the hockey pucks. He slash McMuffin was slash on the fan. <laughs> I didn't hear you. you. Didn't hear your answer, Patty. Was he said that's great, so it's not a McMuffin. Finally got a full size from you. I know, Dustin. It's about time. One of the authentic old school Haskins there night. That's cool. That's my wife's flash cousin. <laughs> okay, box 54, number four of the night. Good luck, everyone. Let's see here. This way. Three, two, one. Woo, that's a pretty helmet. He doesn't like that. Flat black Patriots. Close your eyes, Patriots fans that didn't get the spot. I think Hunter got it tonight. New England Hunter. Nice hit. Triple sign Brady, Brady, and Brady. <laughs> Just a $7,000 helmet. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I love this helmet. Look at that red ink. You guys got to know who that is. If I hear anyone say this is a muffin, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Extremely. Let's see who's going to guess it. 
Yep, Willie McGinnis. <laughs> Flat black for the Patriots. Overrated, <laughs> says the Jets fan. William Kraft is what I thought. <laughs> oh, man. Congrats, Hunter. This is a sweet helmet. Flat, back, flat black, New England Patriots, William McGinnis, topping off the four with Cordell Stewart slash, sorry, P Pittsburgh, Christian McCaffrey, flat white, Panthers helmet, and Icky Woods, Icky Shuffle, number 50, it looks like. No, he wasn't 50. 30. Eclipse for the Bengals. Good stuff, guys. We haven't had a day with double teams in a while. I'm glad we didn't pull it again tonight. Stewart, McGinnis, Woods, McCaffrey. Okay. That does it for our scheduled Facebook breaks. Now if we want to do some uh, three more, still two. Yeah, I know. Need other teams that haven't hit yet hit tonight. So I even added some new helmets in for them. Not that that matters, but... I mean, at the start of the bingo roll, it's random as it ever can be, right? It doesn't matter. They don't care. They haven't been pulled yet, the bingo balls. That's what I like about my series, guys, is you don't have to keep track and say, oh, are the Panthers still alive? Should I not take the Panthers because they don't have a helmet? You will always have a team. How many How many are left in Big Al's series? It's an ever-changing series, Josh. I don't, I don't do just like 40 helmets. Right now, I think there's – Active in the series, I think there's 50 something mid 50s. Um, so draft night special Thursday, yeah, we might do that, Patty. To be honest with you, I think Thursday might be our last day of Big Al Series Three, but I would love to pull the two teams that haven't come out yet. So we may we may do a big break. So we've got Tuesday or Monday tomorrow off Tuesday, and then Wednesday Thursday. I'm taking Friday and Saturday off this week to get Series 4 ready, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, Thursday will probably be our big our big going out with a bang for Series 3, maybe a six-boxer or something like that. We'll probably do a couple three-boxers on Monday and Wednesday. So, and Dustin's saying, anyone interested in trading for the Stewart? I can keep it and put it on the page, Dustin, if you want. Jonathan says, unlimited. <laughs> To a certain extent, I don't. I don't just keep packing the series. I try to keep it even and where I where it started as far as the thought process with who's in it. But I'm not afraid to add the same player back in if they were pulled a couple weeks ago. If it's a big name, you don't tend to see the smaller names that put in twice. Um, <laughs> Jonathan, you took them ahead of me and they want to trade it. Not the player he's looking for, probably. Who's your team, Dustin? I'm working on all 32. Let me know. If you get something worked out or if you want me to hold on to it, Dustin, but while you try to trade, sell it, whatever. Or if it's getting shipped to you, you know the, the spiel. Okay, let's start with some Gold Rush jerseys, guys. Let's do a Gold Rush jersey first. Like I said, I'll stick around and do one or two jerseys and one or two minis if we can fill them. If they can't fill, we'll, we'll call the night. Um, let me post the divisions here so we all know. This stupid notebook. I can't stand it. As I rip the pages. Gosh dang it. Okay, do not claim right now, guys. I'm posting the divisions for you to look at first off. So everyone knows who's in what division. Do not claim. Do not claim. I will post another thing that says, now you can claim. This is just to look at. We base off these divisions and not the normal NFL divisions because it's a little more fair. If you've got something to gripe about, tell me what you think doesn't belong. And I'll do my best to change if it fits. Nate says we claim now. Not quite. So Series 3, Gold Rush jersey. This is the series we're still doing. We've got a case and a half of this left. New Series 4 on the way, too, I believe. Um, yeah, so make your decisions based off this checklist. Or I mean, every team's always available. So first come, first serve. Gold Rush jersey claimed by number. Okay, there it is. 
Um, also, don't let's let's make sure we fill it before we pay. I think there's some big names left in this case because uh, the first two jerseys they were good, but no, no big name yet. We tend to see at least one big name per case. Okay, so far I've got Ian with three, Josh with six, uh, Nate with five, and Terry with two. Four divisions short. So let's try to fill it here. If it doesn't fill, we'll try many. If that doesn't fill, we'll call the night and we'll meet back up tomorrow. Those that don't know who's in this checklist, these are the, the headliners. Tua, Calvin, Larry Fitz, Brady, Breeze, Prescott, Namath, Chase Young, Elway, Peterson, Mahomes, Charles Woodson, Justin Fields, Murray, uh, Trey Lance, Burrow, uh, Etienne Jr., Wilson, Jackson, Herbert, Zach Wilson, and Randy Moss. So those are some of the main headliners. Drake, you'll take eight. Thanks, Drake. That leaves us with one, two, three divisions left. One, four, and seven. One is San Francisco, the Chargers, uh, Cleveland, Philly. Four is Buffalo, Seattle, Indy, Carolina. And seven is Dallas, Minnesota, Atlanta, and Houston. We'll give it just one more minute here. If we can't fill, we'll, we'll move on. We'll try some minis, Gold Rush mini. That's a little bit cheaper, 18 bucks a division, but... Yeah. So I think I'm going to do it soon, guys. I think I'm going to start trying to build a jersey series. I kind of need division, or I need series four to start, though, before I can do that. So soon. Okay, this is looking like this might not fill. If we can get it with one division off, I'll take a division if you guys will let me, since it's not my product. I hit last time. I ended up auctioning it off since I already had one. So we'll give it just 30 more seconds here, and then we'll pull it. Ian says one. Thanks, Ian. Just trying to help, I know. Four and seven left. If you guys don't care, I'll take one of those two or even half of one if someone wants two of the teams, whatever you guys. Okay, we'll try a mini after, Greg. We're getting close. This this might fill. We just need two more spots or one more spot if you guys are fine with me taking one. You'll split seven, Warren. Brian, you want four, okay. Seven, I know that you want Dallas. Uh, who else do you want, Warren? <laughs> My guess is Minnesota. <laughs> I'll let you pick the two you want, Warren. That's fine with me. Cool. Joe, I'll hit you up. Sounds good to me. Yeah, well, I I, I don't shun away from college hits. Uh, you just you just pick your other, your other team, Warren. You tell me which one of those three you want, and I'll take the other two. I don't care. I really don't. I, I don't mind any of those those three teams, so. So yeah, Joe, I'll I'll, uh, I'll message you. Evan, you'll buy Houston, okay? Warren, do you want uh, okay Vikings? Okay. So Warren will take half the division, Dallas and Minnesota. Evan will take Houston, and Big Al will take Atlanta. Evan, just pay six. Warren, pay uh, what? Twelve and a half. Just pay twelve, Warren. Twelve, Warren, six, Evan, and I'll pay the other. What is that? Seven bucks. Okay. Okay. We're, we're full then. You guys are good to pay now or after the breaks. I'm going to crack it now, so don't leave your YouTube app. Ian has one. Terry with two. Ian with three. Brian with four. Nate with five. Josh with six. Warren, Evan, and, and Big Al split in seven. And Drake with eight. 
Um, I can give you guys a second if you want to sell some of your spots or try to sell. I don't want to take forever, but if you were hoping to sell, let me know. Hoping to try to sell, I should say. Was it you or Josh that talked dirty to how to get that? <laughs> Oh, Josh. Both. <laughs> okay, nothing being sold. Let's break it, guys. Good luck. If we get a college player, we'll do the 32-sided die, and we'll, we'll set it up with one through four or five through eight like we did before. So. Good luck, everyone. And then we'll, we'll go straight to minis. We won't try another jersey until uh, tomorrow. We'll do it. We'll try a gold-edge mini after this, uh, if we can fill it, and then... We'll do a second mini if there's enough interest. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. Nice hit. We don't see him very often. His prices have gone up. I don't think he signs as much. Pull up my handy dandy thing here because I forget who's in what division nowadays. Oh, how perfect is that? That is group three. Injured reserve Barkley. It is Saquon Barkley. And it's going to Ian. Ian is a New York fan. Ian, do you have an actual do you I know that you take Philly, New York, uh, the Jets and the Giants, even basketball stuff, you take giant or take New York teams or hockey. Do you have one team that you like more than the other? Giants, Jets, Philly? Or is it just you support them all? Either way, Saquon Barkley. That's awesome, man. Nice hit. Seriously, he is a bust. He's not a bust. You have his Eclipse full size? Oh, that's nice. I love Saquon Barkley. Giants is your team? I thought that might be. It seemed like that's the team you go for a little more often. Congrats, Saquon Barkley. Okay, let's do a mini. Um, same thing, guys, same divisions, uh, but instead of it being 25 a division, it's 18 a division. Uh, let me see here. Let me change the price. Gold Rush Mini. Uh, do you guys want, let me, don't, I'm not typing it yet. Let me, let me show you the mini so you know what, what uh, series it is. Hold on. I'll grab a couple. So it's Division One from twenty twenty one or Series One, sorry. Um Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Russell Wilson, Big Ben, Randy Moss, Tua, Charles Woodson, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, John Elway, Barry Sanders, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers. Kind of a stacked series. So let's go. Gold Rush Mini claim by number. 18 bucks a division. First come, first serve as always. This one's for the jersey. This one's for the mini. Okay, more more mini fans tonight. Huh? Okay. Refresh your screen so you see the same thing I do. I've got Greg with eight. Uh, Matthew with six. Uh, Joe lead on eight. Patty lead on eight. Ben, you've got two. Josh, you've got... Oh, you're late on six. Sorry, I didn't start saying that. Daryl, you've got four. Uh, Dustin, you've got three. Nate, you've got five. Josh laid on six. Ray, you've got one. King just behind on one. Brian laid on two. There's just division seven left, guys. Seven is Dallas, Minnesota, Atlanta, and Houston. 18 bucks a division. That's the last one left. 
Josh will take seven. Okay, and then King right after. And make sure you guys are live. Sometimes it'll look like you're live and you're a little bit behind. So I've got Ray with one, Ben with two, Dustin with three, Daryl with four, Nate with five, Matthew with six, Josh with seven, and Greg with eight. We'll do this many, and then we'll we'll try one more after this too if there's a uh, interest. So and then we'll call it a night. I say those that were late first should get on get in on the second helmet. <laughs> Dang AOL. <laughs> Sorry, King. You were close on both of them. It was right behind them. <laughs> I don't ever like uh, keeping people out just because they were faster, but I don't know. Or they're not faster. Does anyone want Washington or Arizona? Says Matthew. That is in group two. No, one, no, six. So we've got Washington, Arizona, and the Rams up for uh, sale. If anyone wants to buy them. Kathleen wants Washington. What are you charging? Four or five? Four and a half? King will buy the Rams. Matthew says take it. So, uh, Matthew, you just pay me minus the... Uh, amount from that one. Uh, yeah, just just do if you guys want to make it. I'm the only Washington fan on here. <laughs> I'll you'll take Arizona for four, Terry. Four Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it just easy peasy, right where it costs. So everyone pays four fifty for it. That's fine with me. So we've got uh, Kathleen buying Washington. Maybe I should change the price because of that. Huh? Just do twenty instead of eighteen. So four fifty. That means Washington goes to Kathleen. Arizona goes to Terry, and Kang is buying the Rams all for four fifty. So just send less if you're selling. Send me the difference if you're buying. So everyone that bought a team for four fifty, send me four fifty. Those that sold one of their teams or two of their teams minus the amount that you sold before you send it. Okay. If there's an if there's a mix up and you send me too much and someone else sends, then I'll send it back to you. Okay. All the teams that were offered were bought, so let's roll. Here comes a Montana, says Ray. Oh, boy. Does Terry have that group? No, it can't be. Good luck, everyone. Mini number one. We'll, we'll do one more after this. Kind of seems like there should be a big helmet in here still. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm too scared to turn this around. You have a Montana Mini already. I really am scared to turn this around because I haven't looked at the bottom yet. I haven't looked at the back. At the back. Ugh, I can't tell if that's the same kind of Mini. The Rogers is not a speed, and this is not a speed. Green Bay. So Green Bay is in group five, which is Nate. Nate says he has a win. <laughs> if this is Aaron Rodgers, I'm not. it's not. I'm not going to even hope so. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that looks so much like Aaron Rodgers. That really, really threw me off. AJ Dillon, AD instead of AR with a little. That's cruel. Sure is somewhat like that. It's a little more cursive y. Sweet Montana Packers hit. Nice hit, Nate. AJ Dillon. Beckett, WF28391. It kind of seemed like tonight was a night where if you pull a, Drew, a, a Russell Wilson and. It's going to be an Aaron Rodgers. That really threw me off for a second. Okay, let's do another mini, guys. Same thing, same spill. <laughs> it wasn't Adam. I know. I wouldn't have shipped the Adams to you. I would have bought it for your price that you paid for the spot. Wrong face mask. It did look a little different. You're right. 
Bob, and I could I should have told that. I should have been able to see that. It wasn't a speed, which is the only match I had. Hold on, guys. You have to wait. Just, just like always, it'll be after I make the post. That's when you can claim the teams. So everything after that. This is minis again. One more mini. There it is. Everyone after this now. I wanted it to be Adam so bad. Oh, that would be hilarious. There it is. Get your comments out. You know what, Kath? That's not nice, he says. <laughs> okay, refresh your screens. Make sure you're live. I've got Joe. Hey, look, at it ended up working out. Joe and then Greg. So Joe got eight this time. Sorry. Sorry, Greg. And then Brian, two. Kang's at AOL just one step behind again. Man, that sucks. Sorry, King. King just late on two. Brian got two. Josh got six. Matthew just laid on six. Uh, Josh just laid on six. Matthew laid on six. Ray, you got one. Jonathan laid on six. Brian, well, this I think it's repeating a lot of stuff. Jonathan laid six. Brian, you already got two. Jonathan, Brian. Kang's got seven. What? I didn't get six. Not on my screen. It shows like a bunch of spots down. Refresh just in case. Nate's taking five again. So what's wrong with the face mask? Nothing wrong with it. It's just a different face mask than the Rogers. The Rogers is like a different type bar than the other one, even though it actually looks like the same one, but I guess it's not. Nothing wrong with the face mask. Nate, you got five. That leaves three and four now. Divisions three and four. <laughs> Someone called us dysfunctional the other day, and that seems right tonight. I keep saying the wrong thing. Three is Pittsburgh, Detroit, New York Giants, and Jacksonville. Four is Buffalo, Seattle, Indy, Carolina. This will be our last break tonight. Does it still show you above, Jonathan? What does everyone else see? Who do you guys see first for six? Josh got six again. Yeah, maybe he's joking. I'm just being an idiot here. Me. Okay, divisions three and four left, guys. Before we break, again, I'll split if I need to or take a division so we can fill it and just break it. I hate getting six done and then having to cancel it. So if we can get one or two more, two will close it. One will get us close. You'll take Pittsburgh if anyone wants to split up three. I'll take the rest of three, Greg, if you're wanting to do that until someone else offers to take a team. I mean, I, I don't want to be left with just, just Jacksonville, but if that's the way it works. So you're taking Pittsburgh. That leaves Detroit, Giants, and Jacksonville for me. That works, Greg. Just pay four and a half. Big Al will take the rest. And that leaves uh, group four left. Matthew, you'll take four. Okay. Ben, you'll take Detroit for four and a half. Okay. I'll take the other two then. And that's my final offer because I know I'm going to be left with just Jacksonville. If that happens, it'll be Jacksonville. You know it. Okay. Matthew, you'll take Detroit. And that leaves me with... Yeah, appreciate it. And my mini prices are pretty low, so that's not bad. Uh, I'll take Giants and Jacksonville then, and that fills us. Oh, sorry. Ben's taking Detroit. Matthew's taking the entire division for four. Whoops. Said that wrong. Sorry. You'll you'll correct me here in a second because I'm you know, behind on the thing. But... Okay, so Matthew's taking all division four. And Ben is taking Detroit. And I'm taking the R2. Okay. You did, Ben. Sorry. You might be a little behind. I just said it wrong. I corrected it. Hopefully you guys are... Josh, stop flirting with Jonathan. 
He's not trying, mate. Good deal. Okay, let's roll. So just to go over it again, Ray had one, Brian had two, Greg had Pittsburgh, Ben had Detroit, I had the other two teams. Matthew took Division Four, Nate took five, Josh took six, King seven, and Joe eight. And that closes us. This is our last break tonight, guys. And we're back tomorrow. I think tomorrow we've got – we don't have a Gold Rush full-size tomorrow, do we? Autograph? Or, I mean, authentic? Is it tomorrow? I hope it is, actually, but it's probably not. It's probably uh... – it is. Tomorrow's Hockey Puck Hockey Jersey and Gold Rush Authentic. Yeah. I like the diamonds and the authentics. All right, you cut that side. Pretty obvious. What do I need to wear to secure division, Jonathan? Nothing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Three, two, one. Saint Speed. Dill, he says. The breeze is not a speed on here, but you never know. New Orleans Saints. That is Division Two, which is Brian. Nice hit, Brian. Okay, three, two, one. This is the one that I couldn't read the other day that I was confused, but I know who it is now on the jersey. That is Deontay Harris, number 11 for the Saints. We pulled his jersey from, was it Gold Rush jersey too? I think it was. Jersey and mini now. We got baited into thinking we had Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees because the same first initials. And we got A.J. Dillon, Deontay, Har Deontay Harris. Congrats. All the winners. Okay, full size kind of stole the show tonight. Russell Wilson, Wisconsin, Justin Jefferson, Eclipse, Vikings, Willie McGinnis, Flat Black for the Patriots, Cordell Stewart, Slash for the Steelers, Icky Woods, Eclipse, Bengals, Christian McCaffrey, Flat White, Panthers. And a bunch of cool pucks, some cool minis, a cool jersey. Okay, that does it for tonight. Again, as always, thanks for hanging out, guys. That was fun. We're on tomorrow with what I already said, a hockey puck, hockey jersey, and a Gold Rush full-size authentic. Tomorrow will be fun with the full-size. And as always, the hockey stuff. I love the hockey jerseys. My favorite thing. Uh, and then we'll probably do a three-boxer for Big Al's full-size and maybe a two-boxer or a three-boxer for minis. No college tomorrow since we did tonight. Kind of going back to the every other day since it's harder to get stuff. So, Anyways, yes. Everyone have a, a great night. Brian, I'll post that in the uh, – since I just said – since I saw it. Saints Mini for Trade. Um, I will post it in the Big Al's Corner if you want me to or if you want me to ship it to you and you can trade it yourself. Let me know. I'll do whatever you want to do. I will, Dustin. I'll post the Steelers full size. You got it. And anybody else that hit tonight, if you have something that you want me to post on the trade page or the Big Al's Corner, and then I can do a personal shout out for it too, let me know and I'll hold on to it for as long as you want me to. Okay. Great night, guys. See you tomorrow night. Peace.